hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will see in power pages how you can display this list actions instead of a drop down i want to display here in line right so so that it will uh, display it will display in a different uh, beautiful way without a drop down okay so for this we can use a css that will help us to inline uh, this action action buttons in each row without a drop down okay so let us do the step by step first you have to go to the list and open the list which is displaying there and in the option set in the options here you have to scroll down and navigate to the section where you have added the actions right so let me refresh it is not displaying correctly so let me refresh it and now go to options and the options in the grid configuration you will see these are the actions we have enabled create edit delete and view details right so these are four actions we have enabled but create create action displays on the top right so we do not need to change anything but for other third three actions we need to enable in line so what you need to do you need to just expand this and instead of button label static button label you need to use a font or some style like this so let me take this this is how you can use here instead of edit you have to use span tag and use a font or some class using f a f a hyphen pencil you can go to font or some uh, website and in the font or some website you can directly navigate to the uh, search icon panel where you can search any icon of your choice and use it in your uh, uh, use it in your action action step okay for example let's say i want to search edit well edit i will find many icons right so here i find another icon here i can use so what is the class if you scroll down you will see the class so this is the class you can use fa and fa pen right so you can copy this and use it, use it in your style right fa fa pencil can directly use the class no need to use the high symbol this is how you can use otherwise you can directly use the simple font or some like this and follow this just use span class fa stands for font or some then space fa hyphen the uh, image name if it is pencil then use pencil if it is any other uh, you can get from your font or some website and use it and area hidden equal to true next i will go to delete and use another font or some class called as let's say trash okay next use it in the english level and for details you want to use view so for view what i can use i can use uh, a symbol or a icon called as i e y e okay i have done i have replaced this static label to my span style font or some icon so save it this is the first step you have to follow the second step is you have to add a css to your web page which contains the list so that the drop down will render as a inline uh, icons on each row so go to the web page once it is saved you have to go to the web page for next step now go to the web page and open the web page where your list is used my list is used on the page web page whose name is online appointment so i will scroll down and open this so this is the page which is used and i can go here to the content page i'll go to the content page and go to advanced 
and I'll scroll down here I will find a localized upon localized content open this and in the localized content you will find the advanced tab go to advanced tab and scroll down to see custom CSS in custom CSS put your CSS this is the CSS you need to use where we are adding some styles to view grid drop down action normally what happens if you uh, check if you right click and check the uh, inspect uh, option you will see how the uh, style components are used class components are used you see it is a ul actually used class drop down menu that's why here we are using the drop down menu style to change its uh, inline style instead of displaying a drop down it should display inline that's why we have we are using this css so you can copy this css and put it in your web page custom css section and save it now once it is saved just go to your power page studio and synchronize it and once you synchronize once your synchronize is completed you can click on preview to see the power page in action and you will see the list will now contain the inline action icons instead of a drop down so let me click on preview and desktop let us observe here now it is drop down when it will load completely it will display the actions icons in line with each row so let us wait for some seconds it is refreshing you can take this font or some website uh, to find out any icon of your choice okay just copy the class uh, css class then use it in your code now it is trying to load now you see guys now the icons are displaying in line instead of a drop down and whatever action you have associated with this it will work as expected just we are converting or we are rendering the uh, uh, drop down as a inline option so if you view also it will display the view details of the record and if you click on delete it will delete right so you, you can add more gaps in each icon okay depending on your uh, css so i hope you understand how it works i will upload this css and uh, icons in the uh, icons you can get from font awesome but i will use the css uh, upload this css in the in my blog so you can copy that thank you everyone watching this video see you next time bye